Hello everybody. In this video I am showing how you get oxalic acid by oxidation with nitric acid. It is very important that you work in a well ventilated area or a fume hood. I tried to recover some of the nitric acid by dissolving the nitrogen oxides in water. This recreates nitric acid which can be purified and reused. But this was not working like I expected it to do. I measured 260 milliliters 65% nitric acid out. Then I filled 50 grams of glucose in the reaction vessel. The vessel had an empty security wash bottle and a gas wash bottle filled with water attached to it. The water then absorbs the nitrogen oxides and turns them into nitric acid. Which then can be purified. It is unimportant whether you fill the nitric acid or the glucose first in the reaction vessel. To start the reaction simply turn on the heating and set a constant stirring. You know that the reaction is starting when you see a color change. This is caused by nitrogen oxides which dissolve in the reaction mixture. As more and more nitrogen oxides are forming the mixture gets darker and darker and brown fumes gas out the liquid and fill the vessel. At one point the reaction kick starts and a big amount of nitrogen oxides is formed. The gas volume was way too big for the gas wash bottle so my entire fume hood was flooded with brown gases. Luckily I am always wearing my gas mask when some kind of unexpected gas outbreak could happen. This was not the first time my attempt to recollect the nitrogen oxides failed. Now after two glorious fails with this reaction my fume hood is broken. But I learned my lesson. Next time I am trying to condense the NOx instead of dissolving them in water or a hydroxide solution. Because my exhaust system was corroded and totally killed by the nitrogen oxides the fumes took a very long time for getting out of the fume hood. When all the gases were gone I proceeded as usual. I gave the mixture around an hour to fully react and stirred it vigorously. In the security wash bottle were some of the nitrogen oxides condensed and I recovered them and stored them safely in a glass ampoule. Then I had to reduce the volume of the reaction mixture. I did this by simply heating it on my hot plate stirrer. When heated the mixture gives a lot of dissolved NOx into the air. Also some of the still unreacted nitric acid is decomposing and also producing nitrogen oxides. So be careful. I got a brownish looking product slush which I cooled in a water bath and then filtered. I washed my product with ice cold vodka because it gave the best results on cleaning the oxalic acid. In my case I did a gravity filtration because I was a bit lazy but you could also do a vacuum filtration.
From this I got two batches of product. In this shot you can see the very pure oxalic acid in the left side and the purified side products on the right. I then reduced the volume of the filtrate and recovered a second batch of product. This was highly contaminated with